now it all comes to an end. Welcome to the final episode of Bayonetta 2. We've completed Truth Chapter 15, and now we gear ourselves up for the final battle. Let us start Chapter 16, Sovereign Power. And believe me, this is one journey I hope to see it through to the end. <coughs> What is this place? We're in my time. But there's not a moment to explain. We need to get to the Sacred Mountain now. What is upon the mountain? I don't know. But it's where the god who created the eyes of the world once lived. And now someone is after that power. The eyes. How can we reach that place? We are in Vigrid. Time to jump! Jump? That wasn't a request. Go! Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for us. And your kind are? The kind of witches you don't fuck with. I have to admit, I like you much better this way, Balder. You actually shut up and follow directions. I do what I choose. Tell me, how do you know my name? Uh, um, it's, uh, just the name I heard that witch, the one you called Rosa, call out to you. Anyway, this should get us to Fimblevender at mock speed. I would not be so sure of that, witch. My, my. Angels and demons working together. I suppose if they can get along, we can as well. Consider this a momentary truce, at least until the encroachers are punished. Well, that's one way of putting it. Here's mine. Time to tango. It's two to tango, now we play Jet Fighter Assault. ZL Dweeb ZR Devade, Umbrin Climax, R's the controls. There's also charge slashing, shooting, and missile punching. Yeah, we're on a Harrier, and it's become now Space Harrier. What better way to do it than by getting it done? Yeah, and I can't believe I got hit by that once. Though if you were using the Fox Amiibo, then this would pretty much be like Star Fox 64. Ah, great. You had to depart? Fine, you're going down. Oh, you again? You want to play? And yeah, now Umber and Climax at full power. And the pain's gonna actually hurt you for once. That's a disappointment if I've ever seen it. Yeah, it's so far. Flying at this at high speed. Really? The Valiatium dudes again? Dang it, I got hit by it. That 
it's so far. I'm mad disappointed at this. And now he's just swinging around like a surfboard. Where'd he go? There you are. He's back. And that didn't last him that long. Not bad. And here comes the second phase. Now the demons come out to play. What's with these demons anyway? Wow, that's a bummer. No, it's like, yeah, getting hit by that stuns your controls. And now the clouds are getting fierce. Yep, they're bringing out the big guns now. Fine, you want to play, then let's play. I wouldn't mind it. Get so far, and I'm bashing you repeatedly. Yeah, you're not even trying. First we dealt with angels. Ah, oh, come on, really? There will be an extra video showing off the amiibo, like the extra costumes you can unlock, as well as some extra things that we get with it. All right, that takes care of one piece. Now we gotta do the same to the other, and this one's moving this time. Yet so far. Yeah, that got him. And that thing sinks. Good riddance. Wait a minute, now behind? Okay, I can honestly tell if it's an act of desperation or something. But come on. You aren't even that worth it. Sheesh. Ugh, this piggyback ride is killing my back. Why can't you be an adorable little Cerecita that weighs like 10 pounds? Well, at least your little good luck charm got me where I needed to go, right? We're here, kid. Right on the front door of that temple you were so damn determined to get to. Not sure if they're gonna roll out the red carpet for us. Uh... Should be looking for your better half. <laughs> You've got your memories back. Convenient. But you're certainly not looking like my better half. The only thing you have to offer me 
is your sovereign power, then you will be truly worthless. Angels and demons. And by this point, everything's already gone to heck. We arrive at the sacred mountain, Thimble Venter. And look, a Muspelheim. And this is probably the last one. We may as well take this and see what challenge awaits us. Defeat all enemies without getting it once, huh? It's like you're asking for it. Yet so far. Yeah, and I got hit. That that's a bummer. Okay, let's try it again. Against something like that? Jeez. Come on. And I got hit by it too? Oh yeah, because those things strike hard and fast. Alright. Let's try it again. You gotta do it without getting hit once, huh? Well, when in doubt, you bring out the hammer. And you bang the head with it. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right. I'll try again, but this time I'm banging the nail with a hammer. Let's try it again, people. Nah, it wasn't gonna work. Almost only counts in horseshoes, dude. Yeah, good riddance. The ultimate test is trying to do it without getting hit once. But I did it with the hammer because I felt that was the best choice. It took too long and we got another moon pearl. Not bad. At least we did it. Is with this, now we can move on to the sacred mountain itself. Come on! And now we have this, a fragment of an audience. I know, I know. Relax, we're gonna make it. Come on, we don't have much time. Final battle awaits us. Before we do, we enter the gates one more time. Hey, uh, give me a minute. I'm playing this crazy game and I gotta sprinkle some magic powder on the chicken. All right. What can I do for you? What game were you playing? I'd rather not want to find out.
we can get our hands on some items. But for me, I want to extend my life a little bit further. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now raised up to 90,000. Yep, figures. At least with this, we're now all set. And with our health restored, I'll make it better. But in case anything, we need to be ready for the big fight ahead. All right, the fight is on. Little one! Welcome to Thimble Venter. The Lumen Sage, right eye of the Overseer. The Umbra Witch, left eye of the Overseer. Now, everything has fallen into place. Uh, Bayonetta, get out of... Boulder, this is what I promised you, your chance at revenge. Accept it freely. That is your revenge? Is this not the one who destroyed your world? Who destroyed your life? Surely this can't be all you hoped to see. were once a single being. However, this half said he would awaken humans to the truth of their existence. So he divided our divine power and our very souls in two. We should have become mere shells. But this half left behind a certain power within himself in order to protect the balance, our split brought the world. A sovereign power to freely control the eyes of the world. Unfortunately, this one made quite the miscalculation. He had not accounted for the power of evil intent which grew as humans prospered. I couldn't use the sovereign power to control the eyes, so instead, I used the evil hearts of humans to begin to retrieve the power of the ancient god. And all that remained is taking back the one power I do not yet have. The sovereign power. The power this one held within. You managed to escape 500 years before, but it was merely a waiting game. Waiting for you to be reborn. Now the time has come for our powers to become one again, and for me to ascend to the throne as Aesir, God. your sovereign power to my hands. I now have the power to control the eyes as I wish. Can I start from the right eye? Uh, no! 
take him if it pleases you. He is nothing but an empty container to me now. I have no more use for him. It is time I receive your power, witch. Don't worry, I got the kid. You've got my permission to show him your stuff, Bayonetta. What on earth was that? Just some fool always swinging in out of nowhere. Albeit with absolutely impeccable timing. I suppose not even a god can see him coming. Gods do not concern themselves with the machinations of insects. Now, Umbro Witch, the left eye of darkness must return from whence it came. Then just try to take it back. You've destroyed more than you know. And now the final battle begins. Yep, we now face off against this guy. The one who wishes Aesir, the god of chaos. I mean, really? And my timing is off. I'm gonna need to give it everything I have and then some. That with him? Nah. And he also has control of the ice, meaning that he can freeze you. That is <laughs> and yeah, if you get near that, and that's gonna really stink for you. You think that is gonna stop me? That's it. Yeah, I got him. Almost only counts in horseshoes, my friend. Not working. You know that wasn't gonna work that way, right? of the world hold power, but their power came from that of a god. This god will see those powers returned. of Aesir returns to me, and I shall rule over this world as time demands it. To be the overseer of this world, to rule it, a power only meant for Aesir. Human free will is a joke. It is a worthless illusion. You need only obey me. My will 
shall become that of the universe. Humans need not be told what their will shall be. We can create our world with our own eyes. An indulgent statement of human folly. Do you have any idea how much turmoil and confusion you have created? We may not see our next step. We may stumble. We may fall off the path, but we always move forward. That is the power of man. Bayonetta, shall we illustrate? Let's rock. Now comes this fight. We fight off against the Azer himself who wields the eyes of the world. And boy, oh boy, this is gonna be a doozy. And it's fast too, which is worse. Way fast. Really? Dual orbs? Oh no, I didn't forgot to block the second. Really? You're sending out these things? This isn't gonna help you much, you know. Okay, so now what's he doing? Really? Is Shiro got a comment? You can't be serious. Fine, we'll take the fight to the skies. That wasn't working, my friend! <laughs> Not working, my friend! Dang it, this fight! You really went too far now. Oh yeah, how about we turn it right back around? That should hurt, right? Didn't work.
Almost can only get you so far, mate. Your history. Kid, you gonna be okay? His first mistake was thinking that all I had to meet was some shit sovereign power. Stupid fool doesn't get why I'm the better half. I thought you were all out of cards. The real trump card's the one you keep hidden until just the right timing, mate. What? The real power of Lord Aesir, the god of chaos, is nothingness. The power to erase anything and everything from the world. Even the very eyes that created it. No! Whoa, hold on for a second, kid. What happens to the world if you... Any good card play is a gambler, right? Either the world will be destroyed, or it will create its own path. Human free will will determine which way things go. You... What? Let's... Now it's time we finish it in style. Yeah, because now that she he doesn't no longer has the eyes of the world, well, you're done! Well, that's something. Let's bring it up to infinity! And just like the first game, yeah, we have to make sure it lands on its target. And it's gonna do whatever possible to make sure that it doesn't happen. So you gotta use your control stick. Because if it evades, you gotta do it all over again. Hope that you get set, Spike Five though! But yeah, that fight was insane though. Absolutely insane. If it comes to this, it will just begin anew. And return to another place in time. Create a new era. One that cowers to my will. Shit! He's trying to shed his body and return to the spirit realm. He'll just be reborn in a different era. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Do you think you can contain my power? Have you lost your sanity? Sanity is a requirement for our kind. You will never see another era trapped inside me. Only an endless circle of time. Mate, that's pure evil you're dealing with. It's a poison that will live inside you forever. So be it. What's wrong can be made right through human hands. Balda! Seresa, listen to me. You, you know my name? If I stray from my path, you must be the one. The one to stop me. Balda! Seresa, just one time. Call me... Daddy. Daddy. Thank you, Seresa. My dear, sweet child.
It seems like the world's still in one piece. Seems so. You don't need the eyes of the world, love. I believe in your kind. You can create whatever future you desire. What will happen to you? I'll just take a little break. This world doesn't need me anymore, right? Will I see you again? Hard to say. I'll come back to this world someday. So if you're lucky, maybe we'll meet again, love. Little one, I... I'm not little, and I have a name. It's Aesir. I mean, my name is Loki. And I think you can quit treating me like a kid now. Then I'll call you by your name when I see you again. As a man. Bloody hell. Well, that's fine, I guess. At least I know what I want to be when I grow up, right? See you around, Bayonetta. Goodbye, little one. And you can call me Cereza. Sorry, love. But you still don't strike me as a Cereza. better after the holidays. And the distinct lack of acts of God doesn't hurt either. Can you believe they tore my dress to shreds? Right about here, I think it was. Absolutely criminal. There's such a thing as a time and a place. Time? Got your tongue? No. No. I'm fine. Hey, come on. How long do I have to keep doing this? Investigative journalism is big in January. The gates of hell goes down. And so does your anonymous source, my friend. Now keep driving. All right, all right, I get it. I owe you. But I'm not the one with the endless tab. Where is that deadbeat anyway? Well, those two are getting along nicely. Now, to get those new heels. Come along, Enzo. Damn it! I forgot Enzo! Oh, I was wondering why there wasn't a short, foul-mouthed Italian in earshot. Where did you leave him? He said he'd wait for me in the plane. Again? What a day! What a Chit-chat for later. We've got work to do. Now 
you're speaking my language. There's only one way to ring in the new year. Let's dance, boys! I love this game of death, and it shows. Bayonetta 2 is a huge step up from the first one. Platinum Games nailed it, and I couldn't be more happier to experience this game on the Switch. I honestly can't, because everything that I like about the game is a big step up. Not only is it a big step up, it's a big improvement. And what makes it even better is that you actually get to spend time bashing the angels down. Yeah, just like in every Platinum game you get to do. Yep, that's how it's done. Yeah, that means you get like more halos along the way, but everything about the second game is such a big step up from the original, I can't deny it. It's just that awesome. It really is. Everything, the level design, the gameplay, it's more streamlined than ever. And I couldn't say any more about it. I mean, what else is there to say? I bought this game thinking that, yeah, I would finally get to experience the game the way it's meant to be played. And trust me, I'm going to experience it big time. You know, that wasn't the best strategy, my friend. Yep, I got another one. Yeah, I've been getting rid of But yeah, thankfully this game offers a lot. Bayonetta looks more better than ever. And the fact that we're getting Bayonetta 3 is all the more hype for me. I really am. But honestly, what else is there to be said that hasn't been said already? I already mentioned this four years ago that Bayonetta 2 is so much more satisfying than the original. But thing is, I've already discussed about that enough. And believe me, if I were to keep talking about it, it would take me forever. Believe me, I don't need to say anything else because as long as you enjoy it, I have no regrets. Now, I only look forward to when Bayonetta 3 comes. And when it does, I am going to be excited for it. I will be covering it when it comes out, that's a fact. If you have not bought Bayonetta 2 on the Wii U, I recommend getting this on the Switch. One of the best things about this is that you get to play it on the go. And the game is still rock solid at 60 frames per second. Though if you're watching the video, chances are it's at 30 FPS. I don't have an HD 60. So what else is I mean, who else do I gotta deal with, huh? Fine, let's just knock them down. Yeah, like that. Everything about it is awesome. I don't need to say anything else because my review will pretty much sum it up. Bottom line, Bayonetta 1 was a fun, welcoming experience. And I'm happy that it came out on the Wii, like, at first it came out on the PS3 and 360, but then, the sequel came, and we got exclusively on the Wii U. Sure, it didn't sell well, but at least if you pr purchased it when it first came out, it comes with a physical copy of the first Bayonetta for free. But here on the Switch, that's a different case. Because here, mind you, you get to experience the game the way it's meant to be played. On the Switch, rocking at a beautifully solid 60 FPS, and everything about it is just awesome. I don't even say anything else, trust me. I don't need to say anything else right here. It's just, I could just go on and on and on. But yeah, you can tell from my gameplay that I enjoyed it for what it is. It was awesome. I love it a lot. And I have no regrets going through it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will let you all enjoy the rest of this. And yeah, I had to change the music to avoid copyright. But it was a blast. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. I worked real hard on it. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Catch on the flip side. And thank you.